nothing that even comes close to resembling a win con, except for Jace, wielder of mysteries. All right, Tony Scaponi here, and I've got a sweet one for you today. It is a dono deck from Marcus Ewalt, who is the High Tide Master. I have yet to play this deck. Never once have I played High Tide. Um, aside from, I've built various High Tide decks in Vintage Cube, so I'm not unfamiliar with, uh, and I've certainly watched enough content to know how it operates. It's a sweet deck. Uh, I do have love for it. I am super excited to play it. I have wanted to play it for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it. And what better way than a list shot straight from the master himself, Marcus. And just kind of looking through the deck list myself, um, I really like it. I like how bold Marcus uh, is. And because, <laughs> I mean, a few things that are notable to me, and I trust uh, him in his testing is and his experience with this deck um namely there is one unless i'm missing it one win con no like nothing that even comes close to resembling a win con except for jace wielder of mysteries so this card uh, you know a somewhat reasonable planeswalker if you want to call it that three blue and one for four loyalty plus one to target player mills two cards and you get to draw a card and then minus eight you draw seven then if your library has no cards in it you win the game or also if you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it you win the game instead so of course the idea is you don't need other win cons you don't need to be bogging down your deck list uh with with cards other than what's going to allow you to uh combo as efficiently as possible and protecting it as efficiently as possible right because when we win we draw the whole thing and similar to uh like the po list that i've been running when you draw your whole deck you kind of have your choice of win con right and i do like the line you win the game uh it's just the clean way to win similar to thassa's oracle uh where you can get around all sorts of stuff you can get around the ring you can get around um you know, Glacial Chasm, you can get around Veil. It just says you win the game. So if you achieve this, you win the game. Uh, it does mean we have to be mindful. Of course, if it gets discarded, that's not a huge deal. You can time spiral, shuffle it back in. But we cannot be pitching this to Force of Will. It is not an option. We literally cannot win the game if we do that. So, uh, a couple other bold things that I do like. Something that you're probably not going to see from someone building a list unless they... Uh, have really tested things out to know, you know, Ottawa, to me, right, is something that, listen, you need islands, right, it's all, the whole point. High tide, they tap for additional mana. So, it would make sense that all your lands should be islands, right? Mystic Sanctuary, though, comes into play tapped uh, at times. It is still an island, so it synergizes with high tide. However, Ottawa, not, notably not an island. Um, I would imagine the numbers shake out such that it is incidental that it can be a land. So most of the time, uh, this is a spell. Although a lot of times I'm sure it's a land as well. It sounds like it's probably worthwhile. So we have 18 lands. We have your usual suspects in High Tide, Cantrips, Ponder, Brainstorm, Force of Will to back it up, Tyne Spiral, of course. Uh, we have Merchant Scrolls, the full playset with... Uh, a number of cards that you can get with it, namely Force Will is a big one, we can get our one of Pact of Negation we can get Echoing Truth so that we can bounce something pesky we can get Turnabout 
in case we're already rolled up on high tides and need more mana or need to tap our opponent out we can get high tide which is probably mostly mostly you're getting high tide or force the well but the other things will come up i'm sure rest down as a three of in the main deck i would imagine is really just the necessity considering just how much bowmasters there are out there however uh the help doesn't stop there thalia you know there's all sorts of stuff that this is going to be helping us out against so naturally three worst case it's cantrip so that's nice lorian revealed helps us out gets us more islands or later on in the game we get to draw it's a good hit off of mind's desire good stuff this card is obviously a, a large upgrade for this deck and mind's desire unban the big thing that you know kind of popped this deck off as uh going from a struggling phase to uh you know a, a reasonable deck choice it certainly didn't put it into the stratosphere, but the deck is much better. And I know Marcus has had some success with it almost immediately in some uh, some decent tournaments. So I know he's excited. I'm excited. I'm pumped to play it. Uh, some other bold choices is Teferi's Realm. Now this card I had to read a number of times, but <clears throat> and then kind of think how it plays out. I would imagine this is to play to bring in against hate. So say your Delver opponent plays a Null Rod. Well, now, if they want the Null Rod, guess what? They don't get anything else. <laughs> they get an, or, I'm sorry, we don't care about Null Rod. Um, I don't know, choose your hate piece. Uh, I guess Delver's not going to counterbalance. Sure. If they want their counterbalance in play, they don't get lands, they don't get creatures, they don't get anything else. Uh, and then you just play Drago and you get to make land drops. So it does kind of effectively turn off various hate pieces and for us our only permanent is island so seems like a a decent card uh we have pact of negation and defense grid to fight against uh some of the blue decks to push through our combo we have surgical and graph diggers cage to deal with some of the graveyard decks we have force of negation for additional um defense against opposing combo decks and we have Hercules and Snap f to round things off a little bit uh, with more removal. I mean, that's about it. It's a pretty straightforward deck. You make land drops. You counter stuff that's going to be a problem. You cast cantrips to smooth out those draws. And you try to set up a time spiral with, you know, post-high tide or a reasonable size mind's desire to hopefully keep keep the party going. So... That's the deck. That's what it does. I'm going to jump into a match. I'll see you there. All right, here we are. Round one against Yiddy, 1273. And we got some islands, three high tides. I'm going to force a will. I'm in for it. Fox Diamond is in. Some sort of land strategy. That's a wasteland. Green Sun Zenith. This gets Reclaimer. Which is gonna slowly but surely be a pain in my butt. Are we ever gonna use fluster? Could hit crop rot. Don't think I need three high tides. Could also hit a green sun zenith. A fluster. Tide spiral, it's not bad. Let's pass it over. Getting thought seized? Really? Okay. Play it around it. Sure. And we drew dress down. Oh, I'm not sure how much that card is going to be helping us. I'm going to be cycling it. And draw. Brainstorm, not bad. I'm going to cast that one. You're in dire need of a different hand. Um, actually just going to keep these high tides. Three land drops. I don't think we're going to be around for three turns. I think we're basically going to be on either draw time spiral um, or mind's desire. Like now. <laughs> or else we're going to die to a 2020. Sure, I don't care about that seas. Do not care at all. Well, let's go get an island. I have a Wara. That's really good. <laughs> I do like that there's an Ottawara and an Echoing Truth. I have a similar uh, construction in my PO deck where I have a Repeal and an Ottawara. Just so that you have two cards in your deck. So you have a reasonable uh, chance to draw into it to get your out get yourself out of sticky situations it's always a shame when 
someone plays something in game one and you just have actual zero outs, especially when you draw a ton of cards. Not a great feeling. All right, we keep drawing lands. All right, they paid eight, which is probably a good call. We don't have a single creature to pressure their life total. What is this? Zenith for three? For night? Yep. Okay. I don't think we have to panic just yet. Okay, panic. The heck, man. Um, I'm going to hold on to this Adawara. Is it probably just going to make a 2020? And then we'll bounce it, and then they'll kill us with the knight. But on paper, that should give us at least a couple turns. I mean, we have eight cantrips and eight large action spells and four uh, merchant scrolls. So we are very much alive to... I mean, we have some of that stuff in our graveyard, but... Okay, well, at least that gets us hand spiral. Mm-hmm. And Sajiri's step is not going to help them. Yep. A copy Dark Depths. Choose this one. Get this thing. Guess I'll let them go to their turn, thinking that they, you know, don't show them this yet. Let them choose their Sylvan cards without knowing. I mean, they know they know something's up. Although I don't, I don't think they saw this. Yeah, they know about the two high tides. We have, of course, redrawn our fluster that we don't need. Attacking just with Merit Lage. We're going to bounce it. Yeah, it's not a color, so Sajiri so Step is not going to do anything. Sorry, but I'm not. I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> LOL. Alright, let's go ahead... And I guess we get wrecked by, um, yeah, I guess they just bog us, right? Oh, we could have done this before we let the knight untap. Yeah, I punted. I punted. It's seven. I mean, we still, we'll still get a draw, but that was a big old punt ski. We get this draw, and then next turn, are they going to remember to wasteland us before we get to our turn? That's the real question. They didn't, and we drew a ponder. Merchant scroll. Okay. I'm going to keep these because I can go brainstorm, put back fluster, act, I land, get a nice little shuffle going. And I guess we go for brainstorm. Yep. Um, any chance so if we. I mean, if we started this turn with a high tide, it would have been a totally different story. Which I should have considered. I mean, I don't think there's any, like, huge reason. I think I would have ultimately decided to not do that, but I'm certainly wrong to not consider it. So then we could have brainstormed here. Um, yeah, they can't make a 2020. They can get their knight pretty big, though. Ooh, can they get all the way up? No. I'm going to say if they got a fetch, go to 10, play a fetch, 11-11, wasteland their own thing, 13-13. Get pretty close. If they had like multiple crop rots, crop rots or mox diamonds, claimer, sure. It's kind of shocking to me they're not wastelanding us. I know we have a lot of islands, but what are you doing with that wasteland? Zenith for two. You got to be kidding me, dude. You kidding me right now? So now we have to find Echoing Truth. Alright, let's high tide. Brainstorm. Oh wow. Oh and dress down. Yeah. Dress down is what we needed. Uh okay, so Orion goes. And turnabout, there we go. High tide, dress down, spiral. That's high tide. Ooh. Look at this. High tide. Dress down. Turnabout. One tap, tap six islands, and off we go, and they're just off it. Oh, come on, I wanted to have the fun! I'm so salty about the Teague, too. <laughs> That's why we get the dress downs. Okay, we're definitely keeping the dress downs. I won't snap. They have thought seizes, which is awkward. I think we're supposed to be playing Teferi's Realm, right? Fortified creature land, or... 
Oh, I think I'm reading this card wrong. I was thinking it was all permanents of that type, or all permanents other than that type. Like, you choose a permanent type, and that's the only one only one that you get. The beginning of each player's upkeep that played chooses artifact creature land. I don't understand this card. <laughs> or I don't understand why we're playing it, honestly. I'm going to have to come back to that one. Okay, so I don't think we need Pact. Force Negation is not the worst. They are playing Thoughtseize. I mean, it's not great against Thoughtseize, but uh, Green Sun Zenith. Oh, Cage is good for Zenith. Is that worth it? I think it is. I want Echoing Truth. Fluster is good against Thoughtseize, but meh. Let's try this. And they phase out. I don't understand. I just don't get why this card would be effective. But each player's upkeep. So on their upkeep, let's say they have lands, artifacts, creatures. The player chooses artifact, creature, land, or enchantment. They choose enchantment. All non-token permanents of that type phase out. So when my opponent just go, I'll just choose enchantment because they don't have any enchantments. It's a weird card, and I don't get it. Right, we're keeping this. Fox Diamond's getting in. Land. That sees fine. Fine. Got my Merchant Scroll. Reclaimer. They only have two cards in hand. Okay. I guess I'll ponder. Double Dress Down. Sure. Just shuffle the other land away. I think we have enough of those. That's a knight. Getting in for one. They only have one card. That was a good card to have. Shuffle the land. I think I'm going to go to my own end step and cast this dress down. Just because I, I think I do need to cycle it. And I would rather them just, you know, if they try to attack us, they can't hit us for as much. I could just leave them untapped so that they activate them, and maybe that's what they would have done anyways. But I'm going to cast this card anyways, so might as well take advantage of the effect that it has as much as I can. Mind's Desire. That is not bad. Oh, they just have a Merit Lage. Um, yeah. You could, like, High Tide Dress Down into Echoing Truth, so it may only out. You can Dress Down into... I don't know... I do think that's the only out, though. There's no way I'm winning, though, after that. Even if I hit Echoing Truth. 18. Maybe I should have just shuffled that Ponder. Yep. There it is. And here it comes. Because if I dress down, I'm still getting hit for 20. <laughs> it's high tide. Dress down. And scoop. Uh, brainstorm. Oh man, it was the next card. Wow, all right, game three we go. Oh, I get it. I'm a dummy, I'm so dumb. God, it took me so long. <laughs> so during our upkeep, of course, if creatures are an issue on the... The players just are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, for whatever reason, I was reading this as like, it only phases out your permanence of that type. But so if there's a problematic Teague on the other side of the table, then on our upkeep, we can name creature. So, sand is fine. So I get it. It's pretty good against hate. Probably would have wanted it for this island go. Bet you didn't see that one coming, OP. Hmm. It's very tempting to, like, counter an early play, but I th think this one's going to be too slow for our hand. We do need to draw another land, though. We can also save the force for a Thought Seize, since my hand is very close to perfect. I can pitch a Dress down. Nice. They're on the slow plan. Come on, give me an island, please. Yes! Let's go! I died. And you turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. Bang. Two, three. Um. Oh. Snap is pretty good. I like that. Or wait, do I? If they should. Sajiri step. Oh, that fucks us up, doesn't it? 
That's not good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just didn't have it. It's in their hand, maybe. I think I got really lucky there. All right, let's brainstorm. Nice. Put some lands back. Cast high tide. Three, six, nine. Yeah, brainstorm. One more deep, All right? Nothing but lands. It's time spiral. Ooh, baby. This one's juicy. Oh, 9, 10, 11. Not enough to double desire. Come on, nobody wants to... Nobody wants to play with me. <laughs> All right, we got there. See you in round two. Okay, round two against Lord Nubby. And we're going with the Island Brainstorm Keep. A little riskier than Island Ponder, but here we are. Opponent said, okay, Tony. And that's it. I am confused by what they said, so we're just going to move on. They I, they said, my Ferned will give me a Blahodge if I win. I don't know if they're being a bit inappropriate and just purposefully misspelling things so it doesn't block it out on Moto, but I am confused. I'm just going to say, good luck. <laughs> Okay, we are going to play our island and pass it over. Opponent Mulligan 5. Brutal. Savannah. Is this the same matchup? I'm going to let this one go. I'm going to go to my turn. Hope to draw a land. Uh, That works too. Yeah, I'm going to use it right now. I could try to spike a fetch land with Brainstorm. Or even a regular land, and then I could use Lorien, but it seems risky. Alright, stage. Do I end step brainstorm? I'm going to. Simply because I have another one. Alright, these are pretty good. I don't think I want both forces, so shuffle one away. Yep. And then next turn we can go off. Yavamaya. There's the combo. Keep doing it now. We could do some Mystic Sanctuary shenanigans, but they can break it up. Like High Tide, Sanctuary, put High Tide on top, Brainstorm, then High Tide again, then Time Spiral. And either way, I'm fetching, and I'm going to end step. Actually, this will prevent that. Let's dress down. Can't imagine they're going to use it. And draw Fluster, not very helpful. Good wind up crop rotting. So you go High Tide, Mystic Sanctuary, put it on top. Tap, Brainstorm, 2, 4. Oh, wait, that makes it so we don't have enough. Oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 that works, that works. So you go High Tide, tap, we have two, use one for Brainstorm, use the other for the second High Tide after Mystic putting it on top. And then our islands tap for three. Let's do it. High tide it is. And then we have a force in case they crop rot. I guess double crop rot would be a problem. I'm still doing it. I mean, it's not, it's not that big of a problem. They have to do it right now. All right, they have to do it now. Or if they do, then we can just time spiral instead. Brainstorm. Might even find a turnabout. Um, so you go high tide, or, yeah, we can't, well, 3-6, merchant scroll, um, turnabout, yeah, all right, so, let's scroll, get turnabout, turn yourself about, that's what it's all about, land on tap, and I don't think it's worth, well, yeah, I'm not going to cast the Dress Down. Time Spiral Action. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's ponder. Hmm. I'm going to keep this. Going to Brainstorm. Excellent. We're two lands away. Going to Island Cycle. Nope, wait. Gonna high tide, 
going to turn ourselves about. Um, I guess this one draws three, huh? Instead of using it to island cycle, I should probably just use ponder to shuffle. So shuffle with ponder. That was pretty good. And now we'll just cast this. Draw three. Woo! It's ponder. That's a desire. I have a desire. Let's scroll. Get high tide. Yes, high tide. Wander. Uh, shuffle. Turn about. They'll probably just let it go. Land. Tap. <laughs> They're probably going to scoop to that one. That one's going to make them a little bit upset. Uh, should we just desire? Let's desire. I'm sure they scooped this one. Even F6, since we have mana floating. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, desire again. Get them all out there. Keep it going. The whole darn thing. Alright, let's turn the F6 off. Play Jace. Go to zero cards. And then cast Brainstorm. We win! Alright, that was nice. Very nice. Um, okay, so... That means we want this card, now that I know how it works. <laughs> oh my god. It's embarrassing. Okay, so we want Snap. Don't need Hercules. Cage again, I think. I think it's worth it. Fluster is not. Maybe it's just not worth it. Let's trim a Lorian. Or Merchant Scroll, get Snap, and Echoing Truth. I'll trim a scroll. Alright, lands, a couple scrolls, and a time spiral. Sure. Slow and steady. This might have issues with a fast Merit Lage. Let's keep. Alright, Mox Diamond. They're accelerating. Thoughtsy is fine deal. We're playing against the exact same deck. What are the odds? I heard that they were playing Thoughtseize in this deck. I haven't played against it since, like, I don't know, I think a couple weeks ago they started playing Thoughtseize and haven't played against it since I heard that. And now we played against it twice in a row. Echoing Truth. Not the worst. Not great, but, you know, it, uh, it may very well be such that we need a card like Echoing Truth uh, to win this game. So, could be a fine draw. Yeah. <laughs> so, Teferi's Realm is pretty good against that. Uh, let's scroll for a high tide. Like, we just already have what we need. They really should have taken Time Spiral. Because scroll is redundant. Right? We had two of them. And we can scroll for the high tide. We can't scroll for time spirals. If we take time spiral, I do have to, like, naturally draw one of my six drops. They have no lands. Well, now they have a land. Ooh, that is good timing on that force. Very good timing. <laughs> this is, like, shaped up to be perfect. We're going to have counter your thing, bounce your deafening silence, untap high tide time spiral. With the exact perfect cards. It doesn't matter what we draw. We already have it. We have Force Pitch. We have Land number four. We have Bounce, your thing. And then we have High Tide Time Spiral. What else do you need? And that is... Oh, we can't cast two spells. And we can't bounce this right now. Huh. Okay, so we do have to force this. We don't have to, but it's pretty much a requirement. We have three cards in hand. Reclaimer's fine. Draw chase. Um, gosh darn deafening silence. So hopefully they don't play any hate. Just one time. For one turn. Once in your life, just don't be hateful. Alright. We'll bounce a Rooney. Now, we want to draw land, but... Honestly, it's not the end of the world if we don't. We're bound to draw land off Time Spiral anyways. Alrighty then. Is it time to party? Well, we can't pitch Jay, so that Force of Will is not good. 
I was going to say, if they had an oppo agent there, we were done. We would have been done for. All right, let's get the basic. Let's go high tide. Sand Sparrow. Even plays around trap. Yeah. Okay, we do have, do have that land drop. I think the party starts with high tide. Let's go high tide. I'm going to go brainstorm. We have Bowmaster covered, dress down, island back, and brainstorm. Let's go. Does this scroll get high tide or turnabout? High tide gives us plus two mana and then more for following turnabouts. If we get turnabout, we get two, four, five, one, two, four, six, eight. We'll have nine mana. Three, six, oh, plus the even more from this land. All right, let's play a land shuffle. Um, A, we could have done Mystic Sanctuary stuff. Well, we can still do it. They want to use their Reclaimer, they can go for it. Eat your heart out. Oh, that's a different story. Is it, though? <laughs> Is it, though? Well, a little brainstorm. Uh oh. Um, okay. That's fine. We already used it. Now we get to scroll. Turnabout. I probably just shouldn't have even gotten Sanctuary. Not even because of this stuff, but they can Crop Rot for a Wasteland. Which is not good for us. They didn't get rid of the one that we're targeting. Classic. Classic Moto situation here. Yeah, I'll put it on top. <laughs> um, let's brainstorm. Whoa! Turnabout Mines Desire High Tide. Literally could not have thought of three better cards to hit there. Uh, okay, I still want Dress Down just in case. Let's get rid of... Scroll... Ponder? Well, it's, oops. It's High Tide. Let's turn about. Land. Untap. Let's... Dress Down. That's in there. They're probably thinking, oops. Pondering. Um, sure. Um, scroll for brainstorm, ponder, shuffle, brainstorm, keep the force up, desire for 15. <laughs> oh, we had another desire. That's the good stuff. Desire. All right. We got him. 2 0. Seen round three. Okay. Round three against Tarksar 1990. And sure. I mean, it's not great, but we can cycle dress downs. They might have some sort of positive effect for us. Fluster is not nothing. Although, honestly, I think our opponent is a 12 post player. Uh, elf. Okay, are we playing this matchup for a third time in a row? <laughs> Alright, land is not the worst. I'm fine with land. Fluster could hit a green sun zenith. There's a very high chance to run into one, actually. Alright, no attacks. Let's play dress down. They have to use it now. Aha! I was right. Alright, draw a force of will. Could be an okay draw. Might do something. All right. Pass it over. Some posty stuff coming in. That's a one ring. Let's, uh, I don't think we want this fluster. And might as well just cycle this so we can F6 and draw Echoing Truth. I think I want an island. And F6. Attack for one. Draw. High tide. Hmm. So, we can pick up Lorien Revealed with this, and then we can draw three. It's pretty good. But they are really starting to ramp over there. I needle. Well, let's see if they do something about this. It's not really the end of the world if they do. Be happy to just take a regular draw step. All right. I guess they're needling a fetch land. They chose Lorien Revealed. 
Oh, thinking I, I need a land drop? No. I'm casting it. <laughs> Alright, we did not draw force, which is very scary. Now they have roughly 4,000 mana. Oh my god. And they just had Emmy in hand. Yikes. Alright. Brutal. Okay. Um, what kind of hate do they play? They play, they usually play traps. And grid is going to be fine. Cage for Zenith. That's about it. Snap. I don't think I need Pact of Negation. I mean, it, help, it helps against Mind Break Trap, I suppose. I think I'd rather just use Force for that. Don't need to Fairy's Realm. I could play one... In case they play, like, I don't know, some sort of sphere. You could play Wet Ball. That card is annoying. No, it's too poor for them. I believe that card's symmetrical. And there's, like, Collect Roof, but we don't care about that. Echoing Truth. Cluster. Yeah, we don't really care about Needle. I guess I can trim one of these, because they'll probably name it with Needle. Circles, whatever. Cluster can go, like Cage. I guess I'll keep an Echoing Truth just in case. And the Dress Downs are fine. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, sure. This one actually has a route. We needed uh, High Tide, and I mean, we drew a lot of cards, we just didn't find it. Alright, Island, go. Who'd have guessed that one? Once upon a time, sure. Get a cloud post and play a cloud post. Cycle an island. Play another island. Scroll for high tide. And if we draw a turnabout, then we are off. Uh, if we do not, then we're going off the turn after. Play a zenith for one. That's fine. Ponder. Sure. Dress down. Nah. Okay. The island and pass. So now we can bounce or force and then we can untap and high tide time spiral. Which plays around trap anyways. Crop rotation. Sure. We get cloud post, okay. And ramp in. Rampy pampy. Uh do we just echo in truth it? Is there really a reason not to, right? No, there is. If I draw something that I do want to cast, and we're playing into trap, so I'd rather have a force up guaranteed. Okay, let's play island, high tide, giant spiral, surgical. See, we did draw blue card, but if, if we didn't, and we had chosen to echoing truth, then we wouldn't be able to force this. And I would very much like to force it. Do you have a trap? Doesn't look like it. Alright. We at the very least have a Mind's Desire. Um, we'll just go Grid Desire. Plays around Trap. No, it doesn't. They have three mana. Let's, uh... Actually gonna Brainstorm. Veil of Summer. That card does not matter. In fact, that just tapped them out of Grid. Or under Grid. Nope. Oh. What is going on? Just get an F6 value. Looks like it. Ooh, another high tide. It's pretty good. So let's go high tide. Yeah, they're F6. This is 9. So we go ponder, shuffle. 3, 6, 8. Let's go grid, desire. Turnabout. That's exactly the one we needed. And another desire. That'll do. That will do. Turn about, land, untap, cast, windstorm, those. Let's just make mana so that we can F6 when we desire. Pam, 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 pam. Here they are. Um, I'm going to refire my desire. And we hit another one. Where is it? There it is. Turn off the auto yields. And 
Play Jace, Mill, and win. All right. Wonder if I'm supposed to play this instead of Thassa's Oracle in PO. I would imagine the reasoning is it's a more useful card on its own. However, it does die easier. You can pick it up with PO. Triple blue is tough. Not for this deck, but... Uh, okay, so we're going to run it back. All right, game three. We have kind of a weird hand. I'm not sure that we can keep this. I don't mind having Force, but we also have Echoing Truth. No cantrips. Lenoir is not even an island. Mystic Sanctuary. It's a weird hand. All right, this one's more reasonable to keep. Um, let's get rid of Dress Down. Cool thing about Ottawara is you always need a blue source to start with High Tide. Sure, when you start untapping your lands, it's not as good. It could be relevant at some point, but generally speaking, one Ottawara is not the end of the world. Ponder, or just get the Lorien in. No, oh, Ponder. Oh, these are all the cards that I wanted. So I want Force in my hand. My land drop will be next. And then we'll have High Tide. I mean, the only awkward thing is I can't really Merchant Scroll, but I'd be Merchant Scrolling for High Tide. <laughs> so, I have to pass it over. They don't really have a fast start, which is nice. No Cloud Post yet. Yep, pass it over. Then we're going to draw High Tide. So we have High Tide Turnabout, and then we're just on the hunt for... Um... You know what? Maybe I was supposed to Merchant Scroll. Because this is going kind of slower, right? Whereas I could have scrolled, put the High Tide in my hand, and then I'm drawing too, because really I need a Time Spiral or a Mind's Desire. Oh shit, now we're facing down. Hmm. We can't scroll for Echoing Truth because we won't have enough. We're not going to be able to turn about. Won't be able to Atawara. No Chain of Vapor. Oh, we can High Tide turn about. Oh, jeez. And then we can Merchant Scroll for Echoing Truth. But then they can Sajiri Step. Oh no, we'll be able to Ottawara at that point. Hmm. High Tide, Turnabout. We're going to be one mana shy. We're going to have to get lucky on a draw at some point. Alright, we have to play the Ottawara, so we won't be able to bounce with that. Good High Tide. We can High Tide Merchant Scroll right now. Put Echoing Truth in my hand. Then they can't make it. That buys us a turn. Echoing Truth, and then... Then they won't make it, and then we'll get another island. We'll have four. And Echoing Truth. Is that better than turning about? They can veil this, too. Yeah. You can also try to start going now, but I don't think that's possible. Right, you could turn about. We'd have five. Scroll the three... Yeah, that's not going to work. Let's scroll. Surgical on high tide. This I have to counter. Pitching. Orion. I feel like they have a veil. Yep. Yikes. That's going to be real tough to win without high tide. Alright, we are scrolling. <laughs> for. We're so screwed. Echoing Truth, and... So you can't make it right now. Scroll... Or Brainstorm. We're just getting another Dark Depths. Cloud Post. Ah. Changing gears. I like it. Okay. Wander's fine. Sure. I'm gonna need Islands to win. In fact, now we can Brainstorm... It's a time spiral. Dress down, echoing truth, and hope they don't re pivot back to dark depths. Oh, wait, they. We just tapped out. I'm an idiot. <laughs> like it's on board. I didn't realize they can, uh. They can just do it. Oh, wow. Do they only play one? I think they only play one. There's the Ugin. 3, 6, 7, 8, 10. So I'm pretty sure they have Emrakul incoming. We can upkeep, turn about them. Oh, we can time spiral. 
we'd have the turn spiral into turnabout plus mind's desire. Hmm. Yeah, because they're gonna probably cycle away their Yavamaya. Get another cloud post. Four eight. Yeah, then they can activate this. Get Emmy. 12, 13, 14, 15, yep, they'll have enough. We'd wind up having to turn about them in their upkeep. If we brainstorm, we take ourselves off of Time Spiral. I'm going to go for the Time Spiral. I think we have to go right now. Let's go for an island. Make five mana. Turn about. Land. Untap. Make six. And Spiral. Come on, turn about plus Mind's Desire into Mind's Desire, <laughs> into Time Spiral, into Mind's Desire. We hit turn about and turn about. Um, so we have five, six, seven mana. Add the Echoing Truth, so let's scroll. Oh no, I screwed up. We have to turn about them in their upkeep. I just took myself off of it. Deck is hard. We can dress down on the end of their Okay, we're not we're not dead yet. Let's um let's get a brainstorm. A little disappointing, but we almost got there. If we had a mind's desire in this hand, we were there. Yep, here comes Cloud Post. Here comes the Ugin activation. Get Emmy. Take your turn. Cast Emmy. Can they loop it? Dress down does not stop the um the cast trigger. Not an ETB. Yeah, they can loop it with Caracas, huh? Hmm. Well, we're dead. <laughs> they got us. Alright, we're two and one. See you in round four. Alright, here we go, round four. And we have a couple six drops, a four drop, a pact of negation, and a merchant scroll. Um, let's keep. All right, let's battle. Taiga, delighted halfling. Okay. Got some planeswalkers in our future. We have basic island and pass. That's how we do it around here. Zenith? Sure. They're ramping. Brainstorm is very good. Um, turn about time spiral. I mean, honestly, I think I just want to go get High Tide instead, though. All right, we're in there. We've got a protected turn three coming up. Oh, Bowmaster is a problem. Okay. Big, big problem. All right. If you're on the play, this would have been fast enough. Instead, I think we're going to have to pass the turn because we can't afford to brainstorm until the end of their... Oh, God. Yeah, we're just dead. That is way too much. We are pretty much dead. I mean, we can... Hmm. Four, five, six, seven. We go to 11. I mean, we're still going to go for it. Good desire instead, but that's pretty bad. Let's go high tide. Land. Paying one is not cool. That means I can't brainstorm ever. Turn about, land, tap, hit desire, but I'm going to spiral, hope we hit desire. We did. One, two, three, it's only desire for four. <laughs> Our desire really, really needs to hit another desire. It's pretty much a requirement. Here we go, baby. Ponder, okay. Turnabout would be nice, too. Uh, not good enough. Yeah, there's no world where these are good enough. Damn, Bowmaster. Alright, I want Realm. Snap. Pact. I think they're a four stack. Does that mean I want Grid? I guess so. Fluster. So if we take the forces out, the problem with that is... I want to be able to counter um, Bowmaster, but we have to make cuts, and Pact is just cheaper. Dress Down is probably the biggest thing for Bowmaster. 
It's going to start trimming, I guess. Ponder. I'm not so sure Echoing Truth is, is good enough, really. I think it's just pretty much going to be dressed down. We can trim a Merchant Scroll. And a Lorien. Let's try this. Um, it's lots of protection. Fine. Take me home, Brainstorm. Take me home. Such a weird card. Alright, Island Go. Just realize their name is Storm Count 10. <laughs> Alright, untap. Ponder's good. Let's ponder. Found an island. Already have Time Spiral. I'll keep this. Hmm. Really hoping there's another land coming up. Because if there isn't, we're in trouble. And spell pierce it. Okay. How about this one? Alright, that's perfect. I don't need another time spiral. Um Realm will be good for Bowmaster. So we don't really need grid if I have these two packs. You can't protect Realm with Pact though. Yes, yeah, just get rid of one of the packs. That's fine. I just, I I don't love grid and force well uh combo decks. I've done it before. But it's just any way you slice it, it's awkward. It's high variance. There's spots where it's just so good. You grid, they force, you force back, now you have your grid. But there's also spots where you grid and then it turns off your own forces. Let's just get regular island. To rest down is interesting. Um let's get this grid in. See what's up with that. Also means we can't end step dress down in. That makes me just want to cast Dress Down. Just to cycle it. Yep. Get another land. Can I get a High Tide, please? Alright, they're probably going to play a Leovold. Then we're going to play Teferi's Realm. We're going to draw High Tide. And we're going to kill them two turns from now. Is it Minsk and Boo? It's just every color of the universe. The whole ass universe. No, it's Leo. Told you. Desire, it's interesting. So now we go realm. They also get the effect, right? Face out the trees that draw it on tabs. Okay. So they can choose artifact, but I guess there's no reason to. They choose enchantment just so it doesn't exist <laughs> on their turn. If they choose land, it'll phase out my lands. This card is so weird. I mean, it's very good. So now we get to phase out their Leo. Oh my god, we drew it. We just straight up drew it. Not even a cantrip into it. We just drew it. We're protected, too. We're double protected. Let's go. Now I'm feeling smart. I feel like I boarded correctly. <laughs> I don't know if that's, you know, hindsight bias, but I think it makes sense. You just don't have room to play forces and pact. So pact is just an upgrade in a permission-based matchup. So we don't need another card now. And, thanks to Grid, they have no recourse for this. Because they're tapped out. Oh, yeah, they do, because we, we cast High Tide shit. But they will have to have two things. What are they doing? Like casting a whole Preacher. Well, now they don't have enough. That's awesome. It's very close to a blowout. Would it be phased out? No, it just phases them out from this trigger. And all creatures after that, I would imagine, would not be phased out. Untap, 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 untap. Okay, we even have a land drop. That's good. So let's brainstorm. It's another high tide. We don't need any more permission. It's high tide. Let's scroll for it's either high tide or turnabout. Let's do high tide. Let's go ponder. There's a time spiral. Um, we have so much mana. I think I'm gonna dress down. I'm gonna dress down. Then I'm gonna brainstorm. There's a scroll. Let's scroll. It's time for turnabout. 
floods, rainstorm, like misty, pitch. Oh, I'm not drawing anything. Island, mana, let's turn about, land, untap, spike red so we don't draw it, and let's spiral. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's hardcast, Morian revealed. Let's brainstorm. Let's high tide. Version scroll. Get brainstorm. Let's brainstorm. Ponder. Shuffle. Ponder. Let's just shuffle. Let's go Lion's Desire. I'm sure they're going to scoop to this one. And let's show them the deck. You want to see it? Well, here it is. And another one. All right. And cast the Jace. All right, we got there. Sweet. Okay, do we want to change anything? I don't think so. This card is sweet. It's very good. I guess the only problem for PO is that we we play a lot of creatures or creatures artifacts. So if our opponent plays a null rod, it's gonna be a little bit awkward. I think it's still worth it though. I'm gonna test this card. Could be good. Um Yeah, so we just run it back. Sand is fine. Keepity keepity. Alright, Tundra Pass. Another high tide. Actually gonna ponder here instead of playing Mystic Sanctuary. Um on Desire. I think I like all of these. And then we can just play Mystic Sanctuary next. I'm not even gonna shuffle with this. These are pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay. Draw. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Sanctuary. It's literally that ponder was perfect. Um, okay. I think we're going to be able to play through this. Their deck is so greedy. <laughs> it's just all the colors. All of them. Do we wait one turn? So we can go high tide. High tide. Turnabout. Then we have access to nine mana. We have five cards, three. We have one piece of protection. I'm not so sure it gets better than this. Let's go. Let's go. If you fluster me, I quit magic. I go for Hull Breacher now. Oh yeah. We're all in. Can I please? Land? Untap? We're in there. Okay. How much do I want to play into this Bowmaster? I think I'm willing to brainstorm. There it is. There is a dress down. And to turn about, let's put... He's down in another desire. Oh, mama. Two, three. Let's turn about again. Land, untap. Let's dress down. Nice. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Desire for nine. I hear a niner. <laughs> How did we get here? I like we were losing, and now we're just not. Now we just aren't. We're just not losing anymore. I think they're no longer willing to play. Nope, they're still going. All right, we're gonna high tide. We're gonna brainstorm. Oh man, jeez. One of these desires away, I guess. I'm gonna ponder, luster for no reason. Let's turn about. Me, land, tap. Let's desire, or wait, scroll. We don't have any turnabouts left. Uh, whatever. Okay, brainstorm, let's cast brainstorm. Let's desire, F6, and they're off it. <laughs> oh man, we got them. We're three and one. We are fighting for the four one, seeing the final round. Alright, final round against B. Burrowix, 50. And we're gonna keep. This hand is well rounded. Bloodstained Mire seems a little bit degenerate. Hopefully, we're not dead. Let's play Island, 
Fear my island, fear it. All right. They did nothing. I like that. Uh oh, they're doing something. Mountain cavern. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Pile driver. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna cycle one of these. Draw. Let's go island. Time spiral was a very good draw. Because now we have a turn four. We have a little bit of interaction if we really need it. And I guess I'll keep this as is. Lackey's annoying. I wonder if I'm supposed to bounce this right now. Otherwise I'm committed to bouncing it next turn anyways. And I might want to use my mana next turn. Let's bounce the lackey. Draw. Force. Okay. Let's play a delta and pass. Oh, I'm sorry, we have... So, I mean, we could have went, but I'm not sure there's a reason to yet. I was thinking I had a turn four, but this is a turn three. Or it was. But we might as well gas up more. Another pile driver, okay. Get driven. Um, and display sanctuary. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Another time spiral. All right. I'm just not going to use this. I mean, I could have like done high tide, but it doesn't matter. We're going to be shuffling. So, we'll say no. Could have said yes again. Doesn't matter. Let's turn about. Land, untap. Tap them all. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, let's brainstorm. It's pretty good. Put the lands back. Scroll. High tide. Guess high tide. Brainstorm. Ooh. Get rid of truth. Island. High tide. Ponder. Shuffle. Turnabout. Land. Untap. Turnabout. Land. Untap. Chase. Desire. F6. Check them out. Desire. Check them out. Check them out, check them out, check them out. Desire. And here's my whole deck OP. Oop. Uh, let's ponder. Reorder. Ponder. Sure, shuffle the one. Mill slash win the game. Love it. Beautiful. Okay. Goblins. Goblins, goblins, goblins. They have annoying permanents sometimes. But for this deck, there's not too many permanents that are really that annoying. I mean, Chalice on one would be annoying. That would certainly qualify. They don't play that much Chalice, but I still think it's worth it. They're probably playing Bowmaster and Trap. Trap is the big thing, so let's go Grid. I don't think Force is going to help us. It does counter Bowmaster, but I'd rather just try and remove it. Let's get rid of Fluster. I might play some number of Pact for um trap although pretty often we can play around trap the grid is pretty good for that maybe i'll just play the one and get it with merchant scroll if i want i think this is reasonable um okay sand is good enough this deck really does not mulligan all that much i mean you get basics you get cantrips lorian revealed it's pretty easy to Smooth your draws out. All right, they mulled a six. Okay, no lackeys, so that's a good thing. A little time to snap it if we have to. Port can be annoying, but it's not terrible. If they port you on the turn that you're going off, you just respond with high tide, and it works for the rest of your turn. Are they going to cast the pile driver again? No, there's the chalice we talked about. Uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I need Teferi's Realm. Okay, in that realm. Echoing Truth as well. We have four Merchant Scrolls. That's one reason to have Force of Will. Chieftain. And there's the Pile Driver. They only have one card, but they got a fast clock now. Orion Revealed. Oh, well, kind of in trouble. We have a lot of outs. That eh, can't be countered. Hasty, but they only have one card. Hopefully it's not a Muxus. Oh, he's dead. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna wind up at six after this fetch. 
All right, no Muxus. It's a wasteland, that's fine. So fetch, get island, island cycle, draw, turn about. Okay, all right, all right. Go right ahead. Oh man, it's brutal. All right, I have no choice but to turn about. Creature, tap, and draw. All right, so this doesn't really work though. I'm gonna scroll, echoing truth. But we're dead. <laughs> we need to actually draw the Echoing Truth itself. Um, hmm. Yeah, I gotta turn about again. Wish I had more lands. Oh no! Misclick! Oh no. Well, <laughs> I don't think we had a chance, anyways. <laughs> Classic. Classic misclick. So we would have had a land. Yeah, it's not enough. Not enough. Oh! Oh my goodness. Very close. Okay. Um, I don't want Pact. I think a forest for Chalice. Oh, we have Hercules. Forgot about Hercules. Maybe between Hercules, Merchant Scroll, Echoing Truth. Maybe Snap is just unnecessary. No, they're going to have Bowmasters. Maybe grid. The thing is, when you time spiral, you time spiral them into mind break traps. So, but I'm considering bringing forces instead because they counter chalice. No, let's play the grids. This is fine. I mean, it could wind up being the same thing. Oh, <laughs> why? Why? That's awesome. I just multi five. A lot better if they mulliganed and then put these into play, but you know. Dress down might buy us some time. We have high tide, turnabout. So we need to find one of our six drops. And if they play chalice, well then we also need to find one of our answers to that. Let's get a land. Alright, we'll ponder. There's our six drop. So we get to go next turn if they let us. So we lands underneath. I'll play this fetch. So we already have lands. No chalice and we're good. You know they're going to have it. Yep, they're paying X. To chalice. To mismatch chalice. Oi. All right. Well, don't think I want that land. <laughs> nice ponder. Very funny ponder. Very funny. All right, at least this time they have no pressure. Sure. It doesn't do anything this turn. Next turn we can dress it down. Can you use Brainstorm? I'm almost wishing I took those lands now. Really? It's so bad for us. That's so bad for us. No Pyroblast at least. Yeah, Lackey's getting in for one. Oh, come on. Killing me. Absolutely killing me. We can Time Spiral next turn. But it's not going to be a good one. <laughs> no way, this is the chalice for two. Yo. That means we need Teferi's Realm. That's what we need. We also need them to not have a goblin here. Wow. It's actual none. Not see that one coming. Um, Yeah, we have to just go. And untap. And Teferi's Realm, please. Yes. Five. Okay. Um. Wow, we wound up uh, very close to Desire as well. So ones and twos. We could just draw three, but I think we have to go Realm and pass. We did. Oh man, please misinterpret the card and choose creature. They went with Enchantment. All right, your useless ley lines don't do anything. They've got a full grip and a lackey. Mismatch chalice. So, ugh. Ugh. Okay. War Chief is in. Countered. Get out of here. Alright, no whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Please don't. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. <laughs> they completely whiffed. <laughs> oh, man. It's good stuff. 
Okay, did I want to cycle this? It uh, doesn't matter. We're going to choose artifact. We're going to go high tide. We're going to go scroll or turn about fetch an island. Turn ourselves about land on tap. Maybe I was supposed to ponder first in case I found another high tide. I did not. Shuffle. Turnabout's good. Let's draw a card. Ooh, high tide's good. <laughs> uh, let's draw three. Ooh, baby. Okay. Let's go scroll. High tide. Cast high tide. I should brainstorm first. Uh, oh, might as well brainstorm now. Okay. Tap that. Play a grid. Tap these. Turn about. Land. Untap. Uh, untap one of these so that we can F6 on this. It's not optimal, but the mana is uh, virtually infinite at this point. Let these pop off. And pop another one off. We're popping off. And pop off again. <laughs> and that's the whole deck. Play the chase, try to draw a card, and win the game instead. Nice! Wow. Um, let's go back to the list. Okay, so, uh, I'll be honest, I... Uh, nothing about, you know, this style of list. Um, the construction of what we have in front of us here, it looks solid. Um... But I had my doubts about this, we'll call it more of a traditional style, right, with Turnabout. I know people have been messing around with Candelabra, uh, a Sapphire Medallion with Cloud of Fairies and Snap, so that you can go off earlier. Um, those seem like maybe better versions, but I, now that I've played this, I get it. However, we did play against, well, let's see, we played against two... Cradle Control, one Cloud Post, one Goblins, and then we lost to the Control Player, right? No, 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 we lost to, to Cloud Post. So we didn't play against too much blue, but honestly, blue felt fine. This card is a banger, holy crap. <laughs> I just couldn't figure it out at first because there was a, just a part of it that I was thinking about incorrectly. I knew that was the case. I kept reading it and was just like, I know I'm reading this wrong because it doesn't make sense the way I'm thinking of it. The card wouldn't make sense. But obviously a banger. It won us like at least two of those matches. Um, the whole grid... For, like We have four Force of Will, three Force of Negation... Four packed and two grid on the same list. Um, I think I figured out packed and the use of it, where against other permission, you just want to play packed. Because um, if you're not worried about actually countering things that they're playing, you'd rather just pay zero instead of zero, one life, and a blue card. Because uh, there really was not room against blue decks to be playing Pact and Negation and Force of Will. Where it gets a bit dicey is against the blue, the other blue Force of Will combo decks. Because now you want your Force of Negation, but you also want Defense Grid to play your own stuff. It's It gets really weird, which is why ultimately I just stopped playing Grid with Forces. I feel like level one thinking is like, oh, you can't play grid with force, because then you can't use your own force. And then when you level up, you realize, like, there is use for it, and you can make it work. And then, at least in my experience, and with the decks that I play, so I can't necessarily speak to this deck, um, it is just awkward enough where I don't think it's great. But I'm sure Marcus has very specific uses for it. I'm not sure we um, kind of hit that, but we did make use of it. Um, it was pretty good for us in this league, so I mean, everything felt good. The deck is a blast. It's just as fun as I thought it would be. It's really fun to just cast cantrips and drop islands on the table. <laughs> um, and then, you know me, I love a non-deterministic but very high percentage wheel. That is what I am all about. And 
clearly, um, both of these cards here, Lorien Revealed and Mind's Desire, were both huge upgrades for this deck. Um, you know, does it immediately make this deck viable? I don't know. I'd have to play it more. Marcus did well with it recently in a paper event, so that's great. Um, so it seems reasonably powerful. It has problems. Every deck has problems. And I think you just have to kind of accept the problems that it comes with. And uh, I think you can do pretty well with a, a deck like this if you you play it more and more. I hope I did it justice. This is literally the first time I've played High Tide ever um, in Legacy. Like I said, I've played it in Vintage Cube. I have played all of, all of these cards, but the deck itself. Um, but I've watched some content on it, so I you know it's not too hard to figure out. I mean, you, you, it's a, it's really about sequencing and, um, and not that I did it perfectly here, but, um, about maximizing your mana, right? Or figuring out what's your bottleneck mana or action, and then maximizing how to sequence such that you maximize mana or action, whichever one that you're looking for, and then being able to change that equation when um, when necessary, right? As you start chaining cantrips and, and whatnot, you find the mana, you reassess, now I need action, um, sequencing cantrips, the shuffles. It's all a ton of tiny micro decisions that can uh, make or break a match, really. Um, I did make a few flagrant errors, but for the most part, I felt like I, I did okay. So again, hopefully I did it justice. Marcus, thank you so much. I um, was super excited when you asked me to do this Dono deck because I have been dying to play High Tide, and a lot of people have asked me when I was going to play it, so it's uh, it's about time, right? So here it is, before one. Not bad. Ton of fun. Thanks again, and uh, see you next time.